let me just, let me just ask you all a question. Um, how many of you are truly, seriously, still prepping, still going in the stores, looking for canned foods, you know, rice, flour, sugar? Uh, how many of you are all actually still doing that? And what made me ask this question is, I don't think the worst of the food shortage, shortage has hit us yet. As MSM generally does, they try to say it's always oh, bad. Oh, but it's stabilizing. And I really don't see how it's stabilizing, but uh, cause you know, when you have, you know, farmers being asked or paid to destroy their crops and you have so many, so many recalls, I'm just trying to figure out where's all this extra food coming from. Gas prices aren't, you know, that much lower, if any, some places they're still pretty expensive. I'm trying to figure out how they're saying that it's stabilizing. I was reading this article here. Uh, let's see. Uh, USSA News. Cause you can't really always rely on the main uh, media platforms. But it says here that supply shortages have now surpassed the shortages seen at the height of the global financial crisis in 2008. But this is only the beginning. Supply shortage, uh, quote, supply shortages surged in April to reach a joint record level as the war in Ukraine continued to hit global food exports. Reports of increased food prices are meanwhile were meanwhile at the highest or the second highest on record, unquote, said the S&P Global Economist, uh, Usama uh, Bahadi. The global supply shortages index signaled that shortages were just under seven times higher than the normal level, unchanged from March's four month high. Freight capacity remained the hardest hit with reports of shortages at the highest since last December, S&P Global said. Quote, the transport capacity remains the most severely affected with reports of a lack of logistical capacity nearly 32 times above the normal level as vessel shortages and port congestion continue to disrupt the supply of materials. At the same time, while price pressures eased, firms reported that freight costs were rising at 11 times the normal speed, unquote, Bahati said. This is only the beginning things are going to continue to collapse. We have not seen the last of this mess your quote unquote leader has made of the world's economies. So even in this article here, and I'll leave a link to the article below, um, they're still concerned that the worst is yet to come. So I would say, don't get so caught up in the distractions, you know, don't get so caught up in the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard thing. We're not worried about that, you know? Um, don't get so caught up in Dave Chappelle being attacked, you know, uh, on a, on stage and the guy who actually attacked him, if I'm not mistaken, not even gonna face criminal charges. Don't get so caught up into that. Basically what I always tell people is stop paying attention to what they want, want you to pay attention to. Focus on what, what they don't want you to see. Focus on those little back page stories that they try to hide. Focus on those. Be trust me, if MSM puts something on front page, they want you to see it. Yeah, you may read it, but then that shouldn't be the end of your research. That should only wanna make you research more. 
to find out, okay, they're telling me this, but what are they not telling me? You see what I mean? What are they not telling me? They're not telling you that the worst is yet to come. That's why we should all be continuously prepping. I was in the store the other day and when I go down the aisles, I see that it has not fully recovered. Like at this time last year, the stores in the area where I'm at were fully stocked, fully. There were no empty spaces. I mean, literally no empty spaces at all, no gaps. Now, even when stores restock, there are still gaps, continuous gaps. Like you could go there literally every day, different stores and you will see gaps. And let's just say a particular grocery store, you know they get their trucks in on Thursday. So you go there, you know, you let them get their truck in on Thursdays, their supply and the delivery on Thursdays. And you go there on Friday or Saturday and there are, st there are still gaps. It's like they're not getting in as much as they used to. Probably because it's not available. But Amazon doesn't seem to ever be short of anything. Strange. Because no matter what you get from Amazon, it's still available, no matter what it is. Hmm. Something to think about. And I know most of you who are watching this video, you're smart, you're intelligent. You've already thought of that. You've already been thinking about that. But um, I would definitely, I would definitely keep prepping. Like there's really no sense in stopping, right? No sense at all in stopping because we need to, we need more now because we don't know what's gonna happen. You know, just because you see a few things available now, literally tomorrow, you could walk into a store and there could be empty shelves. Because I'm going to say this. If people, if people were really, this is just my opinion. If people were really prepping the way they should, either one or two things would happen. It would cause the grocers to have to order more and continuously bring truckloads of food in or the shelves will be very bare because if we're continuously prepping well basically what we're doing is we're we're putting away back all the putting back you know enough for later for hard times right for shtf right if people were really doing that i just feel that there would be more gaps on the shelves which means that they would have to supply more. Which, if you know about your quote unquote leadership and those who are assigned or elected to take care of certain issues, they can they can have the they can have the shelves restocked if they wanted to. If they wanted to. That's the one thing I've noticed about quote unquote elected officials, leaders. They get things done when they want to, not when we want to, not when the people who, I guess you can say elected them, want to, but when they want to. Like if it's in, if it's their, if it's in their benefit to, to have the shelves stopped, the shelves will be stopped. No matter what's going on, the shelves will be stopped. But if it's in the benefit, for the benefit of the average ordinary everyday person they pick and choose when they want to do it i don't know what do you all think i mean looking at the the videos i'm showing right now to you all there's still some empty empty spaces and it'll probably be a long time maybe you know before they actually allowed you know the shelves to be completely restocked but they don't want you to they don't want you to think about that. You know, they want you to just continue to follow 
what um what 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 mainstream media says. And one thing I always say is you have to pray and then go out and put action behind that prayer. So if you pray if you're praying that you know you have enough food for you, your families and friends, whatever. Well yeah, you pray for that, but then you go out and put some action behind it. Right? So I would say make a plan, a weekly plan on how much additional food you're going to buy each week. Extra $20 worth of food, extra $50 worth of food. And I know everyone's finances may not be, you know, what they should be. I know that there's some people out there who may be on fixed incomes. Uh, there are people who may have just lost their jobs, whatever. But make a way find a way there has to be a way to get more food into your inventory at home it has to be because if you're depending on i'm just going to say it if you're depending on government to get it done for you, you you've already lost that battle that's not going to happen so we have to find a way to help each other out and i, I and i noticed i know you may have noticed that in the past few videos i've done uh, I've spoken a lot about teaming up and helping each other because that's what it's going to take. Like, none of us can go at this lone ranger, lone wolf, you know? You can't do that. Because that's exactly what they want. They want us, they want everyone separated. They want everyone uh, separated. Why? Because, you know, united we stand, divided we fall. So let me know what you all think. What have you all been doing to continuously keep food for storage? A food, a great food supply, a high food supply, a rich food supply. What have you all been doing for that? My son popped me right in the face. It's all right, though. Beautiful, beautiful. But what, what have you all been doing to prepare for that? Don't sit around and just wait. Now is not the time to wait. Now is the time to go out and get it done. No more waiting, no more, no more lag time. Just go get it done. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also, Go take a look at Tyrade TV, other YouTube channel, and podcast, by the way. And as always, get ready, stay ready. God bless.